गुड मॉर्निंग डे स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रोफेसर जी बी शेंडगे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर बारामती इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम ओके क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम एंड क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम इज क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री मेजर ग्रुप दैट इज फर्स्ट वन इज अ मोनो क्रॉपिंग सेकेंड वन इज मल्टीपल क्रॉपिंग एंड थर्ड वन इज फैलो ओके दिस इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम नाउ इज द लेक्चर नंबर सेवन द टाइटल ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज इफिसेंट क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम एंड अलाइड एंटरप्राइजेस इफिसेंट क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम एंड अलाइड एंटरप्राइज दिस इज अ वेरी शॉर्ट लेक्चर ओके फर्स्ट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस लेक्चर और वॉट इज अ क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम ओके इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव इन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम व्हाट इज मीन बाय क्रॉपिंग व्हाट इज मीन बाय सिस्टम ओके क्रॉपिंग मीन्स कल्टिवेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट क्रॉप्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज क्रॉपिंग एंड सिस्टम मीन्स इट इज अ सेट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स और कंपोनेंट्स दैट आर इंटर रिलेटेड और इंटरेक्टिंग अमंग देम सेल्फ्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सिस्टम ओके सिस्टम मीन्स सेट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स और कंपोनेंट्स इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एंटरप्राइजेस द डिफरेंट एंटरप्राइजेस विच आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सिस्टम ओके एंड क्रॉप क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम इट इज एन अरेंजमेंट ऑफ क्रॉप पॉपुलेशन ओके यू हैव टू अरेंज द क्रॉप पॉपुलेशन और क्रॉपिंग पैटर्न दैट ट्रांसफॉर्म द सोलर एनर्जी न्यूट्रिएंट्स, वाटर्स एंड अदर इनपुट्स इनटू यूजफुल बायोमास ओके अरेंजमेंट ऑफ क्रॉप पॉपुलेशन और अरेंजमेंट ऑफ क्रॉप्स ऑन द लैंड ओके विच ट्रांसफॉर्म द अवेलेबल रिसोर्सेज लाइक सोलर एनर्जी न्यूट्रेंट वाटर्स and other inputs uh, into the output or into the useful biomass that is called as cropping system or crop system cropping system is an order in which the crops are cultivated okay cropping system means you have to cultivate the different crops in order in different seasons like kharif rabi samar okay you have to cultivate the any crops or different crops in a, in a order according to the season that is called as cropping system uh, Cropping system is an order in which the crops are cultivated on a piece of land over a fixed period and their interaction with farm resources. Okay, cropping system means, or it is an order in which the crops are cultivated on a same or on a fixed land in a fixed period and their interaction with farm resources. Okay, these enterprises which are related to or interrelated to each other. The main object of cropping system is efficient utilization of all resources okay main objective of cropping system is to efficient utilization of available resources the efficient utilization of available resources like resources like solar energy land water and nutrients okay efficient utilization of these resources these are this is the main objective of cropping system also Uh, the objective of cropping system is to maintain the stability in production and obtaining higher net returns in the crop due to the intercropping you have to stabilize or you have to maintain the crop production and from that uh, production you have to obtain higher net returns and net profit to the farmers okay this is the objectives of cropping system then see the what is meant by efficient cropping system okay efficient cropping system efficient cropping means efficient cropping system means the cropping system which gives maximum profit and maximum utilization of available resources that is called as efficient cropping system efficient cropping system for a particular farm depends on a farm resource farm enterprise and farm technology because farm is an organized economical unit okay the efficient cropping system of particular farm it is depend on the farm resources the available resources like solar energy land labor water etc farm enterprises like dairy fishery poultry bigger it is all different farm enterprises and farm technologies because farm it is an organized economical unit okay efficient cropping system of any farm which is depend on the farm resources farm enterprises and farm technology farm resources which includes the land labor water capital and infrastructure okay farm resources which includes the uh, uh, includes like uh, labor water capital and in infrastructure when land is limited suppose the farmers have land uh, that is the uh, small scale farmers okay the farmers which have the land is less than 2 hectares that is called as small scale farmer okay when land is limited when land is uh, less 
then intensive cropping is adopted to fully utilize the available water and labors okay when the land is uh, limited then intensive cropping is adopted intensive cropping means growing of number of number of crops in the same piece of land during the given period of time that is called as intensive cropping intensive cropping means cultivation of kiwa or growing of number of crops on the same piece of land for which purpose for the fully utilization of available resources like water and labor that is called as in situ cropping when the area under uh, when the uh, the land is limited or small area under the cultivation then intensive cropping is followed by the small farmer uh, for the fully utilization of available resources like water and capital labors etc when sufficient and cheap labor is available when the uh, uh, availability of labor is more and cheap labor is available then vegetable crops are also included in the cropping system as they require the more labor okay suppose the availability of uh, labor is more and the cheap labor is, is available then vegetable crop you have to add the vegetable crops uh, in the cropping system because this vegetable crops are required uh, so many labors for carrying different interculturing operations okay so the uh, number of labors is more so you have to add or you have to grow the vegetable crops it gives more or maximum uh, returns to the farmer so you have to add the uh, vegetable crops suppose the labor is av uh, availability of labor is more and cheap labor is available then capital intensive crops capital intensive crops means those crops which required more capital or more money to cultivate for the growing that is called as capital intensive crop okay for growing the crops at the time of sowing or at the time of planting it required more money okay or more capital that is called as capital intensive crops and after at the time of harvesting it gives maximum profit to the farmers okay that is called as capital intensive crops uh, like sugarcane banana turmeric etc find a space in the cropping system when capital is not a constraint okay the the availability of uh, capital or more av uh, available of uh, capital then you have to cultivate the capital intensive crops okay then in low rainfall regions low rainfall regions means the regions uh, which are receives uh, less than 750 mm rainfall per annum that is called as low rainfall regions in this regions monocropping is followed okay the region where the rainfall is less than 750 mm per annum in this in this in that regions monocropping is followed because uh, uh, availability of water is less so the monocropping only one crop is sown okay and when rainfall is more than 750 mm when the rainfall uh, the region where the rainfall is more than 750 mm then intercropping is practiced intercropping means cultivation of two or more than two crops simultaneously on the piece of a land with definite row pattern that is called as intercropping okay when the rainfall is more than 750 mm then intercropping is practiced with sufficient irrigation water triple and quadruple cropping is adopted when other climatic factors are not limiting okay uh, the amount of uh, or availability of water is more or sufficient irrigation water is available in this region triple and quadruple cropping is adopted triple means cultivation of three crops in a sequence or quadruple means cultivation of four crops in a sequence that is called a triple and quadruple cropping okay uh, sufficient irrigation water is available then triple and quadruple cropping is followed uh, it gives a maximum profit uh, to the farmers okay then farm enterprises like dairy poultry etc also influence the type of cropping system in the farm enterprises uh, there are different enterprises are carried out which are related to each other okay uh, cropping with rearing of uh, day, uh, poultry birds or rearing of goats sheep cattle buffalo etc that is dairy okay it also influence the type of cropping system it influences the cropping system or it is influence the uh, or it generate more returns to the farmers okay then when the farm enterprises which includes the dairy and cropping system when the farm enterprises which includes the cropping with dairy 
uh, rearing of uh, cattle, buffalo, sheep, goat, etc., should contain fodder crops as a component. Okay, cropping uh, when the in the enterprises or in the cropping system, which includes the dairy uh, animals, then uh, you have to add the any fodder crops in the cropping system, uh, which gives fodder to that animals. Change in cropping system take place with the developments of technology. Okay. When the farm enterprises which includes the dairy and cropping system should contain or should add the fodder crop as a component and change in cropping system take place with the development of technologies. Okay. This is the efficient cropping system. Okay. He H over to Mala exam made short note A. Okay. Explain in short efficient cropping system or what is meant by cropping system. Okay. The most efficient cropping system of India. And uh, monocropping crop sequence at intercropping. Okay, in the monocropping, uh, the most efficient cropping system of India in the monocropping. On monocropping means cultivation of only one crops. Okay, in uh, Kharif, Arabi, or in summer season. Okay, when the water is available, uh, mostly the water is uh, mostly the in rainy condition or in Kharif season, uh, farmers uh, grow the crops only in Kharif season. That is called as monocropping, or only one crop is grown year after year on the same piece of land that is called as monocropping. The some examples of monocropping is rice, wheat, sorghum, maize, gram, red gram, groundnut, sugarcane, cowpea and soybean. Okay, this is the example of monocropping. Then crop sequence, crop sequence means cultivation of different crops in a sequence, two crops, three crops, four crops in a sequence in Kharif Rebent in summer season that is called as crop sequence. Okay, rice, uh, a wheat means Cultivation of rice or growing of rice in Kharif season and in Rabi season, you have to grow the wheat crops that is called as crop sequence. Okay. Then maize wheat, maize in Kharif, uh, wheat in Rabi season, then groundnut, uh, uh, barley or wheat, then pearl millet, mustard or gram, then mustard, okay. then cotton, wheat, then cotton, groundnut, sorghum, gram. Sesamum, chickpea and soybean. Okay. Sesamum in Kharif season, chickpea in Rabbi season or soybean, then in Kharif season, then safflower, sugarcane, and pulses. Okay, this is the crop sequence. Okay, cultivation of different crops in a sequence in different season, Kharif and in summer season, that is called as cropping sequence or crop sequence. Okay, then intercropping. Intercropping means cultivation of different crops uh, on the same piece of a land with definite row pattern. Okay, plant to plant and row to row distance is maintained. Uh, that is called as intercropping. Okay, wheat plus rye, maize plus peas. Okay, wheat, maize plus peas. This is the intercropping system. Then pearl millet plus gram. Then mustard plus gram. Sugarcane plus potato. Sugarcane plus French bean. Maize plus groundnut. Sorghum plus red gram. Okay, this is the some examples of intercropping. This is the most efficient cropping system of India. Cropping system means cultivation of different crops on the same piece of a land in a particular period or in a year that is called as cropping system, monocropping, crop sequence and intercropping. Okay. Efficient cropping means which gives maximum profit to the farmers and which uh, cropping system uh, maximum uh, use of the available resources that is land, labor, solar energy, water, etc. That is called as efficient cropping system. Okay. These are the some example of most efficient cropping system of India. Uh, the most efficient cropping system of Maharashtra that is rice wheat. Rice wheat is the most efficient cropping system of Maharashtra. Rice which is grown in Kharif season and wheat which is grown in Rabi season that is rice wheat. This is the most efficient cropping system of Maharashtra. Okay. This is the major cropping system in India. This green region. Okay. This is the green region which indicate the rice wheat cropping system. Okay. This is the rice wheat cropping system. Then dark green, dark green region which indicate the rice, rice or cotton. This is the cropping system. Rice in Kharif season, rice in Rabi season okay. or cotton in Rabi season. Okay. Sorry, rice in Kharif, rice in Rabi season. Okay. Then purple color, this is the this purple color which indicate the cotton wheat cropping system. Cotton in Kharif, wheat in Rabi season. Okay. Then pink colors. This this is the this uh, pink color. This indicate the 
सोयाबीन व्हीट क्रॉपिंग सिस्टीम सोयाबीन खरीफ सीजन व्हीट इन रब्बी सीजन ओके देन ग्रीन सॉरी रेड कलर ओके दिस द रेड कलर विच इंडिकेट द मेज व्हीट क्रॉपिंग सिस्टीम मेज इन खरब एंड व्हीट इन रब्बी सीजन ओके एंड दिस द ब्राउन कलर विच इंडिकेट द पर्ल मिलेट एंड व्हीट क्रॉपिंग सिस्टीम पर्ल मिलेट एंड व्हीट पर्ल मिलेट इन खरीफ सीजन एंड व्हीट इन रब्बी सीजन ओके दिस इज द क्रॉपिंग सिस्टीम मेजर क्रॉपिंग सिस्टीम इन इंडिया ओके राइस व्हीट राइस राइस कॉटन व्हीट सोयाबीन व्हीट मेज व्हीट पर्ल मिलेट एंड व्हीट ओके दिस इज द क्रॉपिंग सिस्टीम द मोस्ट इफिशियंट क्रॉपिंग सिस्टीम ऑफ महाराष्ट्र इज राइस व्हीट ओके राइस व्हीट राइस इन खरीफ सीजन and wheat in rabi season okay then next part that is the efficient cropping system and allied enterprises allied enterprises means which are related to the each other or uh, the enterprises which are related to the main enterprise that is called as allied enterprise okay upon mm. uh, lecture number 3 madhe pahila hai baka components of farming system okay tyacha madhe apan टोटल 11 कॉम्पोनंट्स बगित कॉम्पोनंट्स ऑफ फार्मिंग सिस्टीम सेम कॉम्पोनंट्स दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अलाइड एंटरप्राइजेस ओके फर्स्ट एंटरप्राइज दैट इज डेरी फार्मिंग पोल्ट्री डकरी टर्की पिगरी रैबिट बी कीपिंग एक्वाकल्चर सेलिकल्चर एंड बायोगैस प्लांट ओके दीज आर द डिफरंट अलाइड एंटरप्राइजेस ऑफ क्रॉपिंग सिस्टीम दीज आर द एंटरप्राइजेस विच आर रिलेटेड टू दी Each other. Okay. Suppose the cropping system. Cropping system plus dairy plus poultry. This is the IFS model. Okay. Uh, the waste material of cropping. That is the straw, which is used as a fodder of the animals. Okay. This is the main input. Okay. Waste material of cropping. That is the straw, or uh, which is used as a fodder of the animals. That is the efficient utilization of waste material okay the waste material of animals like dung this is used as a uh, user for the uh, used in a biogas plant okay and the main product of biogas plant that is the gas which is used for cooking purpose and the waste material of biogas that is the slurry okay this slurry uh, which is used as a manure again used as a manure to the crops okay this is the efficient utilization of waste material okay in the dairy farming which includes the cattle buffalo sheep and goat okay in the poultry poultry birds are red uh, the breeds like uh, one raja then kadaknath etc then duckery nageshwari is the uh, breed of duckery then turkey pigery pigs uh, the meat of pigs is called as pork then rabbit then bee keeping that is called as apiculture then aquaculture that is called as fishery species like katla rohu mriga etc then sericulture sericulture means the keeping of silk moths and their larva for the production of silk that is called as sericulture then biogas plant biogas that is used for uh, biogas which includes the methane and gar carbon dioxide these are this uh, this is the two main gas which are present in the biogas is used for cooking purpose lightning purpose etc it can be used for the cooking purpose burning lamps lightning etc uh, this is the biogas plant and the uh, waste material of biogas that is slurry it is again used as a manure to the crop okay these are the allied enterprises efficient cropping system and allied enterprises okay as so a description me lecture number चार मध्य लिखेल है कॉम्पोनंट्स ऑफ फार्मिंग सिस्टीम एंड देयर मेंटेनेंस ओके फॉर दिस पॉइंट और फॉर दिस सेक्शन यू हैव टू रेफर द लेक्चर नंबर फोर ओके दिस द लेक्चर नंबर सेवेन द टाइटल ऑफ दिस लेक्चर इज इफिशियंट यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ अवेलेबल रिसोर्सेस एंड अलाइड एंटरप्राइजेस ओके इफिशियंट यूटिलाइजेशन और efficient cropping system efficient cropping system and allied enterprises this is the lecture number 7 thank you